everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Infiltration. So you notice a bonus reward screen here. So um, we did manage to um, help Rasselhag with their successful raid on this planet. And I was just actually advancing the timeline because I want to get the mechs back and get things going again. And we were supposedly supposed to have another possible contract in three days. But after a, a day or two, this popped up and they're they're... Russell Hag was like, "Hey, thanks for helping us out, and we're leaving before they're like before Korean reinforcements can arrive, or was it Steiner reinforcement? I can't remember which one it was. Anyway, so um, they're like, here, thanks. Here's your here's a bonus reward. I'm like, cool. So I open it up. I'm like, holy shit, there's actually a decent amount of stuff in here. So we get a supercharger. We got like five double heat sinks, a half ton of fast cam arrow ammo, SRM counter missile ammo, a 245 core." A Hetzer with um, an AC-10 on it, um, the the uh, Mydrin AC-10, which isn't bad. I mean, it jams a fair bit, but we got a Hetzer and a large laser. So that's a pretty damn good loot reward. Now, I know the last episode, I, I looked at the... Um, let's, let's go to the planet real quick here. Um, I looked at the um, the status of the planet, and it had Rasselhag at 5, and I believe it was Karita at... I think it was Karita, yeah, at um, minus one. So I guess once you reach a certain point, I got that's the first time I've ever really used the um, that kind of battle um, situation where you can go to a planet and help uh, one force attack another. So this one's got uh, 24 Draconis Combine forces and four Rasselhag forces, so you can help them. Um, but this is the first time I've ever done one of these and actually, I guess, succeeded, I guess, whatever. So we did a good job of helping them raid the planet, so they gave us a bunch of stuff. Cool. Uh, I'll take it. It's, I'm not going to argue about that. That Hetzer, I was, like, shocked. I'm like, really? Because that's, uh, nice <laughs> that's a pretty good get. Like, hole. that's worth a fair chunk of coin. Like, it's like, well, almost $2 million, I think, for that Hetzer. Um, so if we go to uh, uh, Vehicle Bays real quick, uh, where did it show up? Was it a part? Oh, it may have just been a part. Oh, that would figure. Um, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me if it was just a part. Let's go to storage. Was it? I, th I would have thought it was a full headset, though, unless it's in here. You know, I, you can blame me because I don't read. You know me. It's like I get a, I get a note, I look at it. Yeah, it's a headset part. That's the one there. Yeah, so it's only one part. Ah, eh, but still. It's not bad. I'll take it. I'm not going to say no to that. So we got a bunch of stuff here. Um, we got the Mackie. Like I said, I'm going to let you guys decide what we're going to do with that. But we're going to leave it for now. we got stuff we need to do. So let's get a couple mechs back here. So we got a couple of days to go. And there we go. All right. Um, so what do we got up here? Hey, Commander. So I was reading the comments. Thanks for all the great comments. There's a lot of great, uh, great comments over the past week. I'm trying to do this so that I can, like, record like five episodes over a weekend and then be able to release them during the week. And then, like, this is Friday night where I'm recording this one. If I can get a couple off on Friday night, I'll have some for the weekend as well. Um, but I'm trying to get an episode out every day if I can. Uh, usually, they're, most of the time, they're pre-record. So, but I really appreciate all the comments. Now, one of the comments I did have was using, um, I want to have a quick look at this. So, using the APFS DS ammo um, indirectly, and I, I thought it was a pretty good comment because I never really realized, like, this is, I mean, technically it's d a direct fire AP ammo, so it won't scatter much like regular rifle ammo is. So if I'm firing indirectly, I should be using uh, just the regular shots. So I'm going to try to remember that in the future. Thanks for the comment. appreciate it. Because um, I, I normally, I mean, just I'm firing it off the hunchback, right? The sable rounds off the hunchback. I use it to strip armor first and then use the regular heavy rifle ammo afterwards. But I got to remember that with this. So if I'm using direct fire, I can switch to this. And if I'm not, I'll switch back to this. But I mean, there is those rare chances if you're firing indirectly, if you've got a good chance to hit that you may want to try and hit them directly and do some damage. But I think for the most part, I mean, the chance to hit if it's like if it's if it's below like 70 percent or something like that, probably just better off using the regular shots. OK, so that being said, uh, let's go to the command center. I think there's a couple things we can do here still. Um, we've got a capture a base that's against Rasselhag, so we don't want to do that. 
Um, Laren forces scouting Kuridan controlled land. We could do this. That's too. I mean, we should technically be able to do it. Local government units surveying military and industrial targets. So local government's probably easier than going against Steiner. Although it's three five salvage, which has me. Sus it's suspicious. It's always suspicious. The less salvage you get is usually the increase in threat. Um, hmm. That's an escort. Three and a half escort. It's tempting, but it would be tricky if we got two lances at the start. It would be very, very tricky to pull that one off. So I'm thinking probably going to go this route. Oh yeah, by the way, thanks for the comments on, on my... Um, on my uh, post on my YouTube channel where I was asking if, if I should do that, that the uh, um, sort of um, solo playthrough where it's, you know, do kind of like duels only. And uh, I, you know, I got a pretty good positive response. So that's pretty nice. I, I think I'll probably end up doing it. This is a duo duel. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, I know there was a suggestion about doing it as like a uh, um, uh, samurai. It's been kind of been, ca or a, uh, um, what do you want to call it? Um, not Shogun, uh, Damio, whatever. Someone who's been um, cast out and is exacting revenge. So he's got a couple samurai with him. Um, so it would be three mechs in total, the primary guy and two secondaries, and I would go that route. That's a possibility. I'm still kind of toying around with the idea that it would be somebody who's booked passage on, you know, like a, a small... Like somebody who's independently wealthy, booked passage on a small independent mercenary company's ship and is using the currency to kind of get them to go where he wants them to go so he can go after um, either targets that he's being paid to kill or he's, a, you know, the, uh, the age-old story where he's trying to exact revenge against people who have uh, either killed his family or his wife or whatever it is. So he's hunting down these people that were part of some old mercenary unit or something along that line. Um, you know, maybe it's his father's um, his father's old mercenary company. They betrayed him, killed him, divvied up the cash, and then took off. Um, something along that line. So um, probably over the next week or so, I'll probably be posting um, on the channel uh, some polls just to see. And maybe we can narrow it down. I'll put up a couple of ideas, let people vote on it. And then um, I'll put up a, a another poll on, you know, what type of mech we should start off with. Because I'll use whichever one comes out of um, the start. So at the start, you can choose a bunch of options. And some of those options allow you to start off with a bushwhacker or a hunchback or, or whatever. And I'll put a list of like three or four options up. You guys can choose whichever mech I start off with. Um, I may not include the hatchetman because I don't... Well, I'll... I, to be fair, I'll include it. I know if I do that, everyone's going to vote Hatchet, and I'm going to be forced to fight use a melee mech, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'll just put it up there. You guys can vote on whatever it's going to be, and then I'll just run it as that. And then I also want everyone to vote on what start I should go with. So um, I'm going to need to have a mercenary company that I'm attached to. So, you know, if, I, if I'm having a hard time finding solo missions, which I don't think I'll... I don't think it'll be that difficult... I'm going to need some way to make some coin. So if I jump into a planet and there's no missions for me, I need to run other missions with the mercenary company to keep our sea bills up to be able to make our monthly report. And then whatever the main guy um, gets in salvage, I'm going to record that like on a notepad here and only he'll be able to use that salvage. Uh, and that's all he's going to get to use. He can't buy anything. Um, it's going to be just whatever salvage he gets to upgrade his mech and um, to outfit a second mech so we can do dual duels. Um, and I'll probably put the salvage at, down at three for that. And I might turn up the um, the C bill payout uh, just so that we can keep our our financial report going. Because really, it's it's more about um, the duels than anything else. I won't jank. I won't jack up the salvage. I'll leave the salvage as normal. But the sea bill payout might be a little bit higher just so that we can make financial reports and I, I don't have to run as many missions with the main unit. Um, but if you guys want me to include the main unit it, like in the playthrough or, or as a separate playthrough, like I'll run them separately. So there'll be the dual, um, the dual um, series and then the whatever, the second mercenary company series. I can do that too. Um, but otherwise, it'll just be a, 
that would just be a money maker. I am running an offline one right now where I started off with a bushwhacker. Um, it was the one with the um, ER large laser, the AC-10 uh, Mirdren, and the two Zeus LRM-5 launchers. I pulled out the two machine guns. I didn't want the extra ammo in there. Um, but yeah, so I increased the armor. But that's what I started off with. And then I did the Rusty Dan start for the other guys uh, just so I could have some fun. Uh, and it's working out actually fairly well. The Rusty Dan, it's you start off at like a planet that's like a one skull planet. So you start off in a, in a good area to be able to grab those, you know, half skull, one skull planets to be able to jump into to find those missions. And I've been actually been finding a fair bit. I'm probably pulling off two missions with the mercenaries and one mission with the, the solo pilot. So it's actually a relatively good balance and it's manageable. So it's one of those things that I could probably do, you know, two or three uh, episodes in a night. Um, to get those done and then jump to a new planet and it it might end up being you know back and forth between two or three worlds at the start just to because if there's a couple planets that are really close to each other anyway I'll we'll worry about that later but uh, for now let's get into a battle here let's go ahead and take this one let's negotiate this sucker down I'm actually kind of looking forward to it it's it's actually a a kind of a nice challenge okay so uh, what I'm gonna do and I haven't done this yet but I want to do save Lance can we uh, Lance a right is there is I guess it just maybe this is for future maybe they haven't got it quite working yet I don't know but uh, I want to get it so that at least, because um, that was one of the things I was talking about. Ah, Killjoy, damn it, really? Uh, it was one of those things I was talking about. Maybe it was, does that matter? No, it doesn't matter. Um, talking about a little while back, that it would be, we'd be nice to um, to be able to save these settings so that you could just switch between lances. But it wasn't here, it was actually in the other. But anyway, let's just go deploy. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Ah. Remind me I want to apologize if I, if I feel like, I, if it sounds like I'm a little exhausted. I kind of am. I put my back out last week, um, the beginning of the week, which is kind of crappy. But um, what, I, what it ended up happening, we had a massive snowfall on Monday, um, and it just buried us in. I couldn't even get out of the street. It was so bad. Um, Normally I can get my car out of pretty much anywhere, but the snow was so deep that um, it was like up the um, up to the bottom of the car um, on the main road. So when I tried to um, let's put these guys up here, when I tried to drive down the street, it just it was just causing too much drag, and I couldn't even get the car down the road. So I got out, maybe got about five feet in the street, and then I had to get my car back in. And I'm parked. On, I'm park. I park on the road, right? So it's like. Not only did I have to dig myself out, but I had to dig myself out of the road again to get back to my parking spot. It was pretty bad. But I put my back out and it's been really sore all week. So I'm kind of, it's like the end of the week now. It's like Friday night and I'm just like, my back is still bad. I had to sit all day too, which, I mean, it's my job, right? We've got someone moving along here, right there. I saw you sneaky. I saw you, you sneaky bastard. Don't think I don't know you're there. Over here somewhere. Good to go. Oh. Oh. Get a bit off more than I can chew here. We got two lances up here? It looks like we do. Oh, maybe not. Flea. Hunchback 5M. Not bad. Uh, Blackjack, whatever the hell that is. Quick sell Clint. It's a lot of energy. OD. Blackjack 2. So that's... That's... Isn't that the 50 ton or 40? F- That's the 50 ton, isn't it? Hmm. So that's a pretty good chance to hit. It's not as good. Uh, let's go with the good chance to hit. We'll go after the energy back here. Because why not? Firing on target. Oof, one hit. So the Rogue Tech crew has been working on uh, Rogue Tech for the past little while. And there's been a lot of like minor updates that have been put out. And the most recent one, I don't know if you guys, if you're playing or not, but um, they did an elemental update a little while ago. So now element, elementals can, uh, and battle armors 
can ride um, v certain vehicles and mechs and stuff. Um, so they have a mount capability. Now, so when I was talking about what they should do a while back, I had no idea what they were planning on doing. So it's like, oh, they should do this, they should do that. But they they already had it all planned and in the works already. So I was like blowing off steam when they were already planning on doing it. So I don't, I don't even know. Anyway, whatever. For those of you that knew, I apologize if I was like blowing steam at nothing. But yeah, they, the, the changes seem really good. Now, I, I've only encountered one battle armor... Um, in my offline playing and it was like um, a new uh, battle armor four units in a sphere gray legion or something like that but they didn't fire and they didn't do anything it was a base defense mission they just sort of stood there so I think there's a little bit something wonky with the AI still um, yeah Chikeda what can I do for you so once they I mean once the AI is solidified and stuff it should make them far more dangerous because, uh, you know, now they can ride a vehicle into battle. It's going to be, you know, Got it. Max speed, super no threatening, shooting. right? Just drive them into the battle on a ho hovercraft, drop them off where everybody is, and then just let them <laughs> let them rip people apart. All right, let's just shoot this guy. I want to bring him down. I don't... I'm not really interested that much in salvage off this stuff right now. If I find something special, we'll go for it. Like, this guy might probably have some good targeting stuff, so if we can pull his legs off, that'd be great. We are, like suffering like severely with lack of targeting so that's one thing we do have to go for as many optic systems as possible i think yeah the first few the first few um solo um um missions i did i await your command in the offline playthrough to test to see if that um kind of lone wolf series would work it was it was pretty tough I gotta say because um, you're fighting advanced mechs and some of them have optic systems and things like that so for the first little bit it was kind of difficult because my pilot doesn't have great chances to hit and I did end up winning but it was still Oof. yeah man uh, but one thing I did notice is that um, I and I don't know whether it's just me um, maybe other people have noticed the same thing. Uh, it feels like, and maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like the luck to kill mechs has gone up because but there's been several times that I've hit uh, mechs that have had full armor and um, dropped them. Now, they were older mechs, so maybe I got lucky um, and somehow penned the armor, although I don't know how I did that because it wasn't working. I didn't have any weapons that were armor-piercing. So, um, yeah, I don't know how I did that, but they went down, like, as soon as I shot them, which was very, very bizarre. Uh, let's go this route, because we're going direct fire, and let's give it to them. Roger that. Now, wait. Did that splash? Did I see a bunch of ones go off? I'll have to look again next turn. It may have still splashed. What are you using? These freaking quick sell mechs. You never know, right? You always got to be like prepared to, to, to take damage from a freaking quick sell mech. Don't get me wrong. I kind of... I There's some stuff on them that's... I find it way better than pirate, pirate gear. Because it's like... It's, it's, I don't want to say plausible, but just, it's interesting. I'm not going to bother. we got lots of ammo. Fire once, you never know. Ooh, that was close. Just clearing the shrubs out, that's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Alright, TF, I'll, you're, you're going to be on that flea, but let's get, see if we can get this quick sell bastard first here. Let's get around here. So yeah, I, I noticed that I was killing mechs before I was like stripping armor off them. So I don't know whether that was just a fluke or what that was. And there's been a couple patches since then, so maybe there was something that was wonky and or whatever. Or maybe not. Uh, you don't have a lot of armor. Let's go for the kill. Because screw this guy. Roll for that. Nah, 
Nah, not enough. Reporting critical hit. Looked like a lot of leg damage. No SRMs remaining. Looked like a lot of eight leg damage. And they're getting some artillery in here. Light damage, Commander. No, a lot of back hits. Just not enough. Oh, leg like damage. Okay. All right. Waiting on you, That's Commander. That's right. Um. Let's go this way. Going turbo. I want to take this area here. Gives us some cover. If we go this way, it keeps us open to direct fire from over here. That's the only reason why I'm going this way. Man, it's, it's nice getting finding some half decent chances to hit with this ER. And the sound effects have changed too, I noticed. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, see the machine guns sound cooler, like everything sounds cooler. So once again, man, hats off to the Rogue Tech team. If you guys are playing Rogue Tech, you know, I recommend you know, if you can, if you can, donate a little bit to them because, you know, it's their. Good to go. It, it just, you know, it's your entertainment, right? Roger. You pay to go to a movie, so it's, you know, if you if you can, great. Um, hammer. Kill him. Oh, he's got a quick salt gas rifle. He's bailed too. Nice. Two easy kills, although, once again, optic systems we can't get. I would almost rather them die than, uh, than bail out now. Although, we might be able to strip the legs off this guy. Oh, he's overheating. So one thing we're lacking is overheaters. Oh yeah, so I, I, when I started that offline playthrough, I started with the Rusty Dan. I ended up with... It's bizarre. I ended up with the, um, the Loader King, right? But I ended up with two cross cuts with like each one had two flamers <laughs> and and they're really really slow like four six movement and like no armor and then I started off with two urban tanks the LRM SRM4 versions I'm here. The, the Verbi gunship and um, right there Glory and the fire truck which is pretty much useless but you know it's it's always fun because like whenever you get salvage it's always going to be something useful i'm just going to fire one We've got recoil happening already on this guy so nope here's aircraft back there we were just shooting at orders um but yeah it's it's always fun to, to like start from like nothing and then try and build up a a, a mech on the move Full speed. and you can say the same thing about a unit but I don't know, there's just something about being able to build your mechs slowly over time, you know? And try and eke out the last, like every last little bit of um, performance you can get out of them. So I'm going to go direct again, I'm going to see if it splashes. Target confirmed. No. But it may have gone by him. So I guess if we go on a bad chance to hit, it's better to go indirect with standard to hopefully land by him and splash and do a little bit of damage, I Order. guess. Pushing all the buttons. On my way. Um, how are we doing on this guy? Got a bit of leg damage. Let's just shoot him. Land a couple shots. All right, we penned. I hear you. Okay, Griff. Um, let's go see if we can get that leg. What do you say? I know we were gonna go the other way, but can we get it from over here though? can. Not helping that much, though. Yeah, I'm not worried about the flea. Don't know why I'm angling for the flea. Alright, now we can go this way. Low chances to hit, but we got lots of them, so let's go for it. Okay, a couple hits. Well, wrong thing, but sure. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Exostar large lasers, eh? Those are, they're like plus one to hit, right? Pretty sure. Commander. Okay, time to go some time to go light mech hunting. Go get him, Bubba. Yeah. 
And we'll go this route. Just in case that artillery shoots at us again. And we're going to fire it all. Firing. Excellent. Let's make that guy panic. Commander. Get him to drop a load in his pants. Let's get out here in the open. Make, makes we'll it easier out. for us to hit them. Alright, now. Um, we are out of... Really? Not surprising. Alright, I'm just going to go with the SRMs and hope we get the leg. Attacking from position. Oh, of course not. <sighs> of course. Hybrid LRM carrier? TBM LRM? Is that what it is? It is. Ooh, you're loving that Cloudbuster. So what else did they have back here? The Wavern. And the Phalanx with the arrow, I think. Oh man, we're missing the, um, the Hunchback with the, uh... AMS. If I can find a good... Well, you know what? Maybe we... Hmm. Thinking about the Holopolis, the artillery is kind of nice, but maybe we pull off the artillery, put it, the Ultra 2 from the Hunchback in, and then put the AMS in here as well. Kind of make it the dual... Like, it just would be the Hunchback upgrade, I guess. Starting to do some damage. Starting to do some damage. You got that guy. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Standing by. What is he cheating on you with your girlfriend? With your girlfriend or something? Jeez. Got it. Oh man. I think we. As much as I want to shoot this guy, he goes on four. You're on fourteen. We got several other people that can go. Let's see if we can capitalize on this guy. Roger. Nope. Although we hit, we did land a shot back here, and it did take splash damage. So the, I guess that that round does um, splash, because it did splash this thing. Although maybe it landed here and then splashed. It didn't look like it did, but I, that's a possibility. They will be done. That is a possibility. 97%. What do you say you go take that guy's leg off, eh? Got a little bit of, uh, resolve. Bon that wasn't a leg shot? Nope. Oh, of course it isn't. Hey. Oh, as much as I want to shoot this guy with the Ultra 20. We just hold off. Because this is a far more juicy target. Oh, you missed with them. Damn it. I should have just got one shot. Recoil's getting real. We gotta drop that recoil now. Just gonna fire it all, eh? <laughs> He's in it. He's in it to win it, this guy. All right, TF. Um, <sighs> no matter what I do, this guy's going to try and get a... Uh, let's get over here, get our back to the wall. Moving out. Back shots is, is a real potential here, so let's not uh, give him the opportunity if we can avoid it. Nice. Good hits. Solid connection, that one. Good hits. It's not leaving though. What you got left? Machine gun probably in a small laser. Oof. That guy must be making out with your girlfriend or something. He's going after your <laughs> He's going after you like you owe money or something. <laughs> War crimes! Somebody's not making any sea bills from this mission. That, that's not going to be me. Man. Confirmed. I think the... Um, if it was up to me, I would try and lower the uh, amount of 
friendly fire hits to half what it is. Oh, for fuck's sakes, you can't even take the leg. Critical hit, Commander. Just two. All I needed was two. You had eight, and you just needed two of them. Alright. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, Griff, just finish him off, for fuck's sakes. I don't know. Let's see if we can get the leg again. We got one more shot at it. I don't have any friggin'. Of course I don't. Why would I? Just fire these. Screw it! Right, Commander. Of course. Did you see that? We finally got Did the leg though. <laughs> sure. At least he didn't bail out. If he's got cockpit stuff, maybe we can get some of that. Uh, I'll even take the fire control laser accuracy. I mean, we got that on the uh, Wolverine now. So it's, that's why they're, the lasers are a little better, but we need the optics, what we really need. Get rid of that um, line of sight problems. I'm not even going to shoot at you. I'm going to let, your, I'm gonna let your, your buddy finish you off. <laughs> you should just leave him and see if his buddy can finish him off for us. That would be hilarious though if that guy did try to fire at the... Uh, at the Cloudbuster and miss and kill the, kill the Cicada, it would totally be worth it. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah, yeah, they don't, they don't like you. Ready for orders. Uh, so that's the left side. So we want the right side here. Right? I got that right, guys, right? I got that right, okay. Gonna fire at the Cicada. Primitive. Alright, two good hits. Nice. Ready for orders. Sturm. On it. Let's go after that artillery uh, vehicle. So direct is 44, indirect 57. Go in standard round. And let's give it to him. Okay, so we got a bit of splash on him. Not much, but it, eh. What? No. We'll take it. Um... <laughs> Let's go pay this guy a visit. <laughs> this is this is what you get for having all long range weapons. Hey, what's up? You br you brought a uh, TBM and a uh, and an LRM to a uh, AC20 fight. Copy that. Ah, I missed. Alpha strike. Ah well. The line was funny. I just couldn't I just couldn't capitalize on it. Oof. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yep. Oh, they don't like me at all. They do not. Oh, my armor's melting off. They do not like you one bit. No way I can drop some heat here other than dropping lasers, but I want to drop this guy first, so... Let's fire it all. Hopefully we get the kill on this guy. He doesn't have any back armor, really. Per se. Hopefully we get the kill, so we've got a flamer and a light machine gun array. Not too bad. Engaging. Yep, there we go. Mech destroyed. Man, I was considering taking the uh, cephalus Commander? off the uh, the um, thumbnail. Got it. Because they're like, oh, we should. We got some new mechs. Maybe I should change the thumbnail to one of the newer mechs. But that thing is still so good. I can't take it off. Let's just kill this guy. Firing on target. Oh, now you can hit the leg. Critical hit, Commander. Yes, Commander. Time to get some retribution, buddy. Just gonna walk Location it up. Confirmed. We'll drop our uh, instability that way. I want to try and save our uh, save our resolve. Um, yeah. Locked on target. Nice. Destroyed. Excellent. He had no armor. I don't know how fast this guy is. Probably like 6'9? He's wheeled, so he can't be that fast. Where are you going? Oh, 
Oh, that's an interesting move. We're going to swing around down here and drop some heat next turn. This guy's pretty safe now. I can't be hit, so I'm just going to bring him down over here and drop some heat. Who are you going after? Uh, you're going to go after the... Uh, nope. I think I didn't open my, my mouth. Good thing I'm tired and I can't actually speak well. <laughs> I was going to say he's going to go after the Cloud Buster, but that's what I would have done. That's what John Wayne would have done. Oof, nice shot. But I got lots of armor. Yes, Commander. Lots more armor than you have. Okay, Position keep the side. Down. And firing. Confirmed. There goes the leg. Beagle probe crit. Maybe the cephalus can actually shoot his leg off. His other leg. Orders. Sturm Tiger. Copy that. Okay, we're gonna go standard again, indirect. Firing. Roger. Okay, that landed. It's not a bad little loadout in the Helopolis, but I mean, it's still, like, it's undergunned for its weight. But, eh, it is what it is. Okay. Firing Alpha Strike. I'm probably going to have to kill this thing with machine guns. Let's just turn him up a little bit. Um, one or two? Let's go two. Double your pleasure. I hope there you go. I got this. You did. You did get him, Commander. Just shooting text. See if Boss Man can come up, can uh, capitalize on something here. His weapon systems, yeah, not bad. I'm glad this Talos has a. I mean, it's not has, doesn't have like a lot of weapons on it, but I'm Taking glad it's hit. consistently got a half decent chance to hit. Um. So we can go like that. This has got the worst chance to hit. Let's drop a little bit of heat. Ah, why? Why? We don't need to. We're not going anywhere. Copy that. Torso. Ah. Oh well. Smoked one. You did. Waiting for orders. Okay, this guy's unstable. I don't know if we'll get him to bail out or not, but hope he doesn't bail out. Because he's probably got some half decent headgear too. Critical hit, Commander. Commander. Mothman prophecy. Just fire from here. No point in moving. Ah, uh, we lost most of the good stuff. Firing full complement on enemy. Oof! There you go. Target eliminated. Running exile looks like. Mission successful. Okay, 414,000, that's not bad. Two-thirds of our financial report, excellent. Good, some good, uh, good XP, which we needed, too. Okay, what do we got here? Chicada parts, the Blackjack Omni parts. There's only four of them, though. Hmm. Quick sell Clint. There's a chance we could get a full quick sell Clint. Actually, let's just see what's down here. The 5M Hunchback. I mean, we could technically disassemble the Hunchback we have now and reassemble it as one of these guys. Like, if we take three 5M pieces, we could disassemble ours as we put it into storage. Like, when you hit scrap, you can scrap it, or you can take it apart in, as individual pieces and put it in storage. So I could do that and then reassemble it as this one. So that's a possibility with three. The full phalanx is there. I guess they must have bailed. So AC-20, Gauss Rifle Quick Cell. What's the difference? 900 meter range, 70 damage, 6 heat. So it's about the same. Two, two ammo for every shot. This deals full damage at point blank range, but falls off to 36% damage at maximum range. Point blank is 60 meters. Uses AC-2 ammo. Oh, hypervelocity AC2, but that's 
Wait, how many Goss shots are in, in a ton now? Goss... Ooh, thumper one-shotter. Goss comes with 15 rounds, I think, per ton, doesn't it? Or is it 10? But AC2, like, you're getting way more... Like, you can use precision ammo in that thing. And you get 15 shots. So using... Oh, no, it's a lot less with precision ammo. I thought it was... It's 34 shots for the quick sell. That's why. So you get 17 turns of firing. And then twice with these. Hmm. Um, let's not look at this stuff at the moment. Let's go back up. So that's the quick sell Gauss. I mean, that's 15 tons though. I was going to say we can, might want to swap out the uh, Thumper and go with the Gauss. But we got to strip another 5 tons. I mean, a large laser could go. But then we're downing, like we're dropping our our um, our overall damage output. That's my reasoning. I'm sticking to it. Uh, Beagle probe, um, case two, compact actuators. This is the arm accu accuracy, but I guess that was to be able to put the uh, Gauss rifle on there, which is probably why you couldn't hit. Endo steel. So the XL will give us C bills. So we okay. I'm just trying to keep on track here. So this will give us C bills because we're trying to get the the, the junk leopard. This is going to be a direct upgrade for somebody. We've already got one. Do I want a second one then? I think I do. Energy accuracy. We've already got one of these on the uh, Wolverine, so I don't necessarily need that. No optics in here. Double heat sinks. There is a double heat sink kit, though. We do have one. Oh, do I take the light engine and the... Uh, oh, we got a rangefinder, sniper sensors. Stealth X. I can make another stealthy boy. Hmm... So if I'm going to be going for the dropship, I need sea bills more than anything, which means getting the the light engine now. Like I can't really put it in because I, I need to save the money anyway. So there's no point. I mean, I could take this and sell this. I could sell both of those and be into the dropship, you know. So we've got 17 double heat sinks. I don't need any more. I love how they lowered the price of the heat sinks. Because uh, honestly, a lot of people were making a lot of money off heat sinks. Because when they were like 114,000, like regular heat sinks were 114,000 a pop, you gain so many heat sinks as you go through and you can sell them for a lot of money. Now they're worthless. So it's like, which I think is better because when you're trying to build a mech early on, you need like three or four heat sinks. You didn't want to have to pay $500,000 for heat, like four heat sinks. So now it's a little more balanced. That's not 900,000. These are worth nothing. This is worth nothing. Yeah, 733. So, I mean, what's that Goss worth? The Beagle Probe is not that much. 200,000. The uh, Tigert, 220. Gauss, 275, 999. <laughs> sure. That's not worth it either. ER Large. Um, come on, man. Should have got off the pot. How much is this? No, Stealth X isn't worth that much, is it? No, fi like 500,000. Let's um, stay on target. We're going, we're going for the, uh, the, we're going for the leopard. So let's do this. We'll sell all three of these. Okay, we got two cicada parts, the flea part, phalanx, the wavering part. AC-20, which is not too bad. One-shot thumper, that's interesting. It's three tons, though. Gotta wait for a good chance to hit, but it might be worth it on a, on a heavier mech a little later on. Uh, regular armor we can ditch for 130 sea bills. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, uh, X, the light engine, let's just... We'll hang on to it for now. Uh, we're going to sell this guy. As much as I hate selling this one, I'm going to sell it. 325. We'll definitely, definitely need that. 
Uh, we can sell the one jump jet and the AC-20 ammo we'll hang on to. So yeah, we can get our Leopard now. Alright. 25 grand in repairs. Yeah, I mean that Phalanx did some, some good work against us, but that was pretty much it as far as damage. We made about a million Seabills in that run. So let's just go ahead really quickly and go to Engineering. Hey boss, nice to see you. Now, there was a comment in the, in the comment section mentioning that I shouldn't be neglecting too much about, about the Argo. I usually like getting the Argo to about what you see here. Um, and then I usually sit on it for quite a while. Um, it's only because I'm not... Like, once it gets to this point, you know, adding a little bit... Like, other than the morale, extra morale boosts um, to keep your morale up... Um, during this kind of like early starting to get into mid game phase, which I what I consider what we're at right now, um, this is usually a, a half decent, you know, um, for me anyway, half decent way to go. And then once I start making some good C bills, then I'll just like, you know, just go full out and try and finish things off. But right now we're going to work on this little bit here. I'm going to try and get two more mechs into battle. Um, I might go two mechs, two vehicles, but we'll see. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, and oh, it's actually gone up in price, has it not? Or is it just me? Maybe it's just, it's probably just me. Let's go ahead and do it. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it. Excellent. And I'll, we'll, we'll get that back right now. Boom, Those junk leopard. Excellent. Uh, now we, we gotta check our financial report here. How far away is it? Six days. We got enough to pull off another mission. Killjoy is still up for a bit. So, um, engineering, how long till we get... You on, boss. Drop one mech or tank. This is just additional vehicles. So, let's go here. It's six days, which isn't too bad. 400,000, though. Do I want to hold off? I think I do. We've already jumped our, our, um, our uh, financial report up up by another 100,000 so let's hold off for a moment um, and then next episode we'll pull off another mission here we'll probably take that other yeah, command center there's another two skull mission here I think two skull battle against the um, uh, Laren forces so we'll go ahead and do that actually if I go ahead and do because uh, we do have some stuff to sell I could go ahead we're back in three it's six days away. I was going to say we might be able to go ahead and get that um, the extra mech for that one, but we won't be able to. So there's no point in spending the money until after the financial report. So we'll wait till after the financial report. But I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we'll, we'll take on that uh, other Two Skull mission. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. And also go and check out the, um, the community tab on my YouTube channel. Keep an eye out for those polls coming up for that uh, the dual series. And um, yeah, just let me know what you think. Until next time, we'll see you later.